Hey guys, Sean Pollard here at Veerinks RV Center. We have become one of West Michigan's premier teardrop dealers in the last couple of months, it seems. We've started to carry quite a few of these. This is our last 2020 model Tab 400 that we have in stock. So I'm going to do a quick walk through this so that you can see how it's laid out, what options that we have. So this is not a boondock version. We do have it priced accordingly. This is your standard Tab 400. This is optioned with the gray color wood on the inside, and it does also have the larger three-way refrigerator that we will see inside. So since this is a Tab 400, your propane tank is going to be in here. And there's going to be quite a bit of storage because this is going to come with your two 6-volt, 220-amp-hour batteries that are going to lo be located in the rear under the bed. Okay? So this has the white sidewalls with the black trim and the red accent stripe. So it's a really, really sharp color combination. You can see in our door we do have the built-in trash can. We have the nice lift up blackout shade here and you've got the storage built into the door as well as with all the tab 400s this is going to come equipped with the outside shower uh, sewer hose storage water hookups antenna for your radio those types of things we do have this generous size storage here in the back with our battery disconnect this is a fairly deep exterior storage is not a full pass through but does give you quite a bit of storage there. So let's take a look at the inside, look at the colors. My understanding is that in the 21s, they're gonna be changing and going away from this multi-tone fabric. So if you like these colors, this is gonna be your last shot. Uh, as of now, from what I know, to get that. So things can always change, so. Okay, let's step in here and take a look. So our front dining room here, is going to feature your three-person table. One thing that I did notice today watching uh, some of the Travels with Delaney blog, if you guys haven't watched him, him and his wife own a Tab 400, and they do a really nice video blog on their YouTube channel. It's really informative, uh, and it's fun to watch. But So not only does this fold down into a bed, but when this folds down into a bed, from about here to the end of the couch is left hanging and that's so that if you move the cushions along the back you can actually set this up as a couch and then a little bit of the table sticks out to give you uh, an area to put your drinks or your food so pretty versatile area up here in the front as you can see this porthole does have the black sh blackout shade and then it does have storage inside so a little bit more storage in there than you would think of course, it does feature the large front dual pane acrylic plastiform window with the pull down insect screen and the lift up blackout shade. Okay, our window over here also has the privacy as well. You can see we've got a bank of switches underneath here. So this top switch powers your inverter. These Tab 400s do come with an inverter that allow you to run your 110 volt systems off of your 12 volt batteries. So you'll be able to run your wall outlets, a handful of your wall outlets at least, pretty much everything you're gonna need in the trailer except for the air conditioner, you'll be able to run off of your batteries. You've got 110 outlets and then a 12 volt outlet with USB as well. You can also see these cutouts in the wood in the floor. That is actually where your uh, heat rises up from so this is equipped with the aldi heating system it is a hydronic radiant heat it is a quiet heat system there is no blower fan so it just creates a quiet soft heat and it ventilates up you can see there's a couple more etched out in the floor there so okay so let's look at our galley got a nice bit of storage here underneath the sink this is all real hardwood there is no press board or MDF anywhere in this. Uh, one thing that is really nice is even on these edges, everything is very smooth. You can tell that they did a really nice job in the fit and finish in all of the new camp products. And seeing some of the competitive trailers, one thing that I recommend, especially if you're looking at other teardrops, is to run your hand on all the wood that you find, the wood under the seats, the wood on the end of the cabinets, and you'll find it's not nearly as well sanded down and fit and finished. So, 
We do have our sink here with the lift up faucet. Drop the glass down, you have countertop space. This is really nice too, the galley wall outlet for crock pot, coffee pot, whatever. Got another dual pane window here, again with the same screens. And then of course, our two burner gas cooktop with the glass top that allows you to use that for counter space as well. So let's look at our cabinets. So you have options here. You can either have, this will always be an open cabinet. It's actually quite a bit of storage. And you can get this with two overhead cabinets or the cabinet in the microwave. This of course has the microwave. One of the nice things about the microwave is even if you don't like it, you can take this turntable out. You can still use it as storage. But if you are taking some goods that you want to microwave, it gives you that option as well. Look at this beautiful ambient lighting. Okay. We'll get to the bedroom here in a second, but let's look at our two-tone wood. So everything on the door side will always be the light color birch. And this was ordered with the gray on the off door side. So it gives it a really nice two-tone look. You can see we have the larger three-way refrigerator. So this refrigerator will work off of battery, propane, or electric, whatever is best for you. And it does have the tip down freezer as well. So when you go with this three-way refrigerator, you do lose this closet. You do gain this drawer here, and you go to a bank of several drawers here, drawers under the galley, okay? So you've got a really nice pull-out drawer there. I like that they have these nice big handles. It makes it really easy to open. And these are generous size drawers as well. Again, all of the wood, even on the interior of the drawers, is very smooth, very well finished, uh, really nice touch from the Amish woodworkers down there in Sugar Creek, Ohio, where these are all built. So you can lift up the silverware tray and there's storage underneath. And you've got a nice area for your pots and pans. So plenty of galley storage, which is really nice. Of course, we do feature the queen bed. One thing that is kind of nice, you can see how this is, uh, there's two different sides to the mattress. So you can either have it with this decorative side to match the front or with just the standard stitch side like you would normally see. This is equipped with the Froley sleep system already. So those springs are going to act like a box spring to give you more support under these mattresses. It also keeps them off of the wood and allows for more air circulation throughout the trailer. This is equipped with a 12 volt Jensen television. So you'll be able to run this TV just off of your battery while you're laying in your queen bed, looking out your beautiful double pane stargazer window. And again, it is equipped with the blackout shade and the insect screen. We've got our ambient light here. You can see that there's a gray switch right there that controls this ambient lighting. And then you have your reading lights. You can either have just a night light, you can turn it off, or you can have it as your reading light. We've got a duct from our air conditioning system there, speaker there from your DVD player, and your really beautiful nightstand. It's cut out, looks really sharp, but it gives you a nice area to store your phone, breathing machine, glasses, whatever. You've got a 12 volt outlet here with USB and you can run it off 110, so this will actually run off of your inverter, which is up in the front. So to give you an idea of space, I am six foot two, okay? So I am laying in the bed. I can stretch all the way out. That gives me about two inches of room on, on the other side of my foot um, and plenty of room still for a pillow. So plenty of space. So this is equipped with the Aldi heat system. That's also your water heater and it does have the Air 8 fully ducted air conditioning system as well. Uh, so you've got storage under here little bit of storage under there as well. One of the really nice things that I like on the tab over the Little Guy Max, they're both very nice campers, but I think the bathroom in the tab is way nicer. You get a lot more storage, you get lights, you have a lot more room to actually sit and use the restroom if you need to. You gain the sink, which is really nice. It's such a great feature. It is heated, 
This whole area is heated from your Aldi system. You also have a vent fan in here. And then your max fan is actually out in the living room instead of being isolated in the bathroom. And get that nice little mirror to do your hair in the morning. Looks really good. So again, this is our last 2020 Tab 400 that you have in stock. If you have any questions, please shoot me a call or shoot me a text. I have been very fortunate to be able to work with a handful of people on their new camp purchases already this year. I would love to work with you on yours. If you live anywhere in Michigan, or if you'd like to work with us from out of state or have us deliver it, shoot me a call, shoot me a text, and let me know. Happy camping. We'll see you next time.